Well, a plague of fraudulent returns is hitting retailers all across the country, costing them billions. According to new data from retailers, stores took back $743 billion in return last year. More than $100 billion was returned fraudulently. And you may be wondering, how can someone do that? Well, the scam does have many forms. It can be done by changing the price on a tag, faking a receipt, open box fraud, which is basically returning something you already bought and then rebuying it for a discount since it's an open box now, returning stolen goods and wardrobing where scammers buy an outfit, they wear it out, and then they return it. So the most common fraud comes in the form of shipping back returns. But what's in the box? Well, it's not the item. According to the report in the Wall Street Journal, electronic retailers say they've received entire boxes filled with bricks instead of the actual product. Christian Piller is an expert in supply chain strategy and the CCO of Pollen Technologies. He joins us now live. Uh, great to have you here. So Christian, one really important aspect, I, aspect of all this to consider, I think, is how this is impacting the company's bottom line. How do retailers survive in the wake of all this fraud? And how damaging is this to business? We're talking hundreds of billions of dollars. Yeah, I think the, the challenge is e-commerce is continuing to grow. Therefore, returns in, in online returns fraud is continuing to grow. Uh, most of the retailers focus their effort on stores, but in fact, returns is a much bigger uh, fraudulent problem. How are, how are retailers handling it? Um, right now, I don't think they're handling it very well. The technology they use is archaic. The processes and systems they have really need to be updated. So why do you think we're seeing this sort of activity spiking right now? I don't know that we see it spiking, but it's certainly continuing to increase just because of the, the growth in e-commerce. I think we're starting to see more attention paid to it just because it's so much harder now to ignore $700 billion, where years back, maybe $400 billion could be written off as a cost of doing business. But if we look at what's going to happen in 2028, where the U.S. Uh, e-commerce is expected to be a $2 trillion industry, if retailers don't start doing something now to reduce returns and reduce fraud or combat fraud, they're going to have a much bigger problem now than they do, uh, or then than they do now. So I was reading about this, and the tactics appear to be getting more sophisticated. So how are companies, Christian, working to guard against the fraud? And will the rest of us who aren't doing this be impacted as well? So unfortunately, I think the rest of us that aren't doing this on some time are going to be impacted, probably because there's going to be stricter return policies. Uh, retailers might start charging for returns. They might have uh, shorter return windows. As far as what retailers are doing now, I think they're, they're going through a trial and error phase. Um, a lot of retailers are starting to push returns to in-store, so a human uh, employee of uh, the retailer can physically inspect the item. But where we see most of this happening is during the Christmas and holiday season, where there's temporary workers. So those workers aren't properly trained. They may not be super familiar with the product line. Um, and it's really easy to not be held accountable if you're only going to be uh, somewhere for a month and don't really care about the long-term impact of accepting a fraudulent item. So in about 30 seconds, do you think this will be uh, impacting convenience? Is that what it sounds like? Uh, absolutely. You know, if you go to a, a convenience store and, and things are locked up and you can't even buy a stick of deodorant, it's only a matter of time before something like that happens online if retailers don't take a hard look at a new returns exchange and, and combating the, the uh, fraud of returns and exchange strategy. All right, Christian Pillar, an important topic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.